<laughs> gray on gray, huh? Well, this is depressing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Andan's Opinion Corner. Ah, if you don't know what Andan's Opinion Corner is, it's where I take your comment that you've sent to me that has a link of something that you want me to, well, share my opinion on. It doesn't have to be a link, you can just, you know, say the topic in the comment. And I would recommend that the topics and stuff that you sent to me are about movies, video games, comic books and TV shows and stuff, because that's mainly things that, that that I that I talk about. So last week I complained about not having any comments and so you just you sent me comments. And so now I've realized that if I need more comments I can just beg for them. <laughs> so the first comment comes from the vibes two <laughs> What's your favorite movie and why? Don't know if this qualifies for your opinion corner though but I'm curious. PS you're awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and even though your comment is more of a, you know, Q&A thing, I can definitely answer questions that you have for me as well, because, well, those are basically opinions. Now let's see, what is my favorite movie? Because I've seen a lot of movies, and it's going to be a superhero thing. I know that I really, really liked Captain America The Winter Soldier, but I, but, I, but I wouldn't say that that's my favorite movie. I'm just trying to round up every movie in my head now. I honestly don't know what my favorite movie is. But I can tell you about my favorite cinema experiences. The favorite movie I think I've ever seen in cinema was definitely Guardians of the Galaxy because normally I hate people talking and, and laughing like every single minute because that's annoying. I don't like people who make a lot of noise. As soon as I see a fucking phone going off, poof! in my imagination. <laughs> the crowd, the audience were so great, everyone laughed when we were supposed to laugh. And uh, you, just the overall like chemistry in the cinema was so great and so fun, you know? And now the second one is probably going to surprise you because it's the final Twilight movie, The Breaking Dawn Part 2. Yes, I saw that one in the cinema. And I've read all the Twilight books, God knows why, but I did, and I know that the ending of that book is just so anticlimactic, it's not even real. So spoilers, if you care about spoilers for Twilight. In the movie version, in like the final 20 minutes, th there's this like huge fight that breaks out, and that was so surprising and so awesome, because suddenly people just started dying, and every single girl in the cinema was like, Oh my god! I could just hear everyone gasp, and it was the most amazing feeling in the world. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is actually happening, they are dying! Oh my god, I love the writer of the books, because she was the one who wrote the script for, you know, the movie version. So I thought, holy shit, she's going to kill everyone off, this is fucking awesome! People are dying left and right, boom, it was all like... The, that one vampire who could see the future, she like, foresees something, and she was like, Oh, this is your future, don't make it happen. And then everyone just walks away, just like in the book. And that was the best and worst feeling I've ever had, almost at the same time in, in, the, in the cinema. All the girls were cheering like, yes, this didn't happen. And I was just sitting there like, what the fuck? And like, I watched all the other four movies just for nothing. Okay, so we're gonna get a bit more serious now, because Cole Barlow has a comment. He says, Aden... What? The fuck? Aden, how do you feel about how much YouTubers get paid? Do you think they deserve it, or do you think they get too much? P.S. If, if I met you, I would give you a hug, even if you're antisocial, uh, and you have a fit sister, you fucking pervert. Besides your misspelling and your pervy remarks, I'm going to try and answer your comment. A comment like this comes up every now and then, and I'd say it's all very subjective. I do feel that YouTubers, you know, if they put their heart and soul into what they do, and that's entertain their subscribers, then yes, I do think that they should get paid and I do agree that when we go up to like a million views a day and we're like a multi-millionaire then yeah that's probably a bit too much money for what for for, for for this I mean from my perspective YouTube is just a hobby I still have school and stuff this is not a job and I mean yeah if every single one of my videos got a hundred thousand views every single time then yeah I would probably be able to make a living out of that, <laughs> but I don't I don't get money at all for my two years of You know actively being on YouTube. I think I've earned 
enough money to be able to buy a video game. And that's two years of doing this. And so, you know, as a hobby, this is great. This has become even greater now because people are commenting and stuff, which I didn't have you know, the other two years. So I mean, basically getting a free video game out of doing this for two years, it's a fun little hobby thing. So from my perspective, I do think that YouTubers deserve it. If I suddenly became a millionaire out of doing this, yes, I would say that's probably too much and I would probably give like a lot of it to charities and stuff because I don't need that much money, you know. So hopefully that actually answered your comment. I do think that they should get paid and it's all very subjective. And that's it, a fun start and a serious ending. Bum bum bum. And so that's it. Please send me stuff that you want me to to react to on and and reacts and then stuff that you want me to share my opinion on because if not then and and reacts and and and's opinion corner is not going to work. So <laughs> do send comments please and share my channel with all of your friends. So yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to start whoring out now. Goodbye!